this is Night Price from NNK and today we are going to make a very simple Lego character. So first of all we need select everything, delete. Now what we need is a reference image. You can get it from anywhere you want, not very necessary, but I use to Google to get this image. Anyways, we need this picture and we'll load it in Blender. Now first of all let me just turn on the keys. Okay, there's the screen keys and now add image. And by the way, I pressed N to open this manual. Open NK five to orthographic view and there it goes. Now we're just going to center this image a little bit just to make this thing easier. Yep, that should work. Now we need another image for actually the same image, not an, another image for the right side. We'll just shift this one to front and this one to right. So we have number pad, center this one too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there it goes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Not so bad. Okay, and now if you look at this top view which we are not going to use, this head is well the head of our character is actually cylindrical so we're going to start with that and add in a cylinder grab and go into wireframe mode by pressing z and scale it down by the way i'm scaling this down along just the z axis and nothing else going to front view yep perfect so let's go and use edit mode loop cut select this grab sorry scale and scale this down what we're going to do is make this curve this curvy thing add in another loop cut scale this up a little bit like something around here I think Mm, yeah, I think that's good. Another one. Scale. And grab a bit. Scale down a bit. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, that seems right. Okay, one thing I noticed is that this thing is a, a little big. Well, not actually matching the reference image. It's not a problem, but still can be. Well, it's just good to make match this thing. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, select the scale that is uh, S on your key keypad or keyboard, and then you do Shift Z. What this is going to do is just lock the Z axis so it goes along the X and Y. And now scale this down. Okay, just grab it, something like here, and once again, shift C, scale down right there. Mm, yeah, grab it. Y and yeah, that's good. Now we're going to repeat the same thing what we did with the top and with the bottom. Like this. Here, scale it down. Like, oh, this should be enough. Control R, scale. Mm, yep, right there. Uh, oops, no, 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 no. Control Z, okay. Control R, scale. There. Mm, yeah, it looks fine. Let's just tap out of the wireframe and see how it looks. I don't know what it makes. Well, it's good. Now, 
going back to object mode, one thing we're going to do is change it to smooth so we can know what we're making. Right. Back to edit mode. Okay. Next thing is we're going to make this little piece of plastic. Actually, oh yeah. I don't know why it's there. I think it's supposed to hold the hair of the character. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But well, it's there and we're gonna make it. Now, there are two ways to do that. First of all, you can. One, well, first way is you can select all of these, extrude them out, and then scale it in, grab it along. Excuse me. Front view grab it along C, bring it down and then extrude once again along Z axis just like that or there is an easier way mm, right okay the easier way is you shift to face mode or vertex mode anything would work you just have to select this face and then press I and it's going to insert a face just like that yep it's face and then you extrude it up along the axis of course right there and it's done we're going to apply the same technique for the neck of our character well now this time I'm going to do it in face mode so you know face select and I think this is right. Extrude. Oh no, it's not right. Uh, anyways, the uh, matters. I'm going back to the. Back, uh, front view. Scale it. Uh, right there. Just like that. One thing you want is you have to grab this thing and bring it all the way down well at least a little bit down now why we're doing that one thing we're going to make this character separately that means the body will be completely a separate well not a separate object but a separate piece just like the head is a separate piece arms will be a separate piece and legs just like that what they're going to do is, well, when you're modeling a human character, you need to, well, replicate the minor skill, skin displacements. Like, if you move your fist, you'll see that the, your skin moves along with it. For a Lego character, which is actually all plastic and nothing else, you don't really need that. So, you can keep it very, very simple and model everything separately. Now our head is almost or actually it's complete yeah well ta -da, we're done with the head now one thing we're going to do is we're gonna delete everything on this side select x delete for glasses now we have a half face we're gonna add in a mirror modifier and now what that did well making a face in a single piece well that's easy because it's just a cylinder nothing not something big or mighty or something difficult well arms are a different thing if you want to make a simple arm a single arm it will take a lot of effort to replicate the entire thing on the other side so we use a mirror modifier and modifier will do that for us next thing adding a cube as you can see this body thing is actually a cube it's a cube right actually it's just some kind of triangle I think maybe anyways uh, scale along Z Grab along Z. Okay. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. I'm gonna add in a loop cut and delete this side. Mm, yep. 
we're gonna see. As you can see, we already have that one. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this option here, which allows me to select the vertices on both sides. Though that doesn't matter. Anyways, so next thing we're gonna do is grab these, move them along X and somewhere. Oh, well, I think it's somewhere here. I just zoom in a bit. Yes, it should be somewhere along um, the Actually, no, I will grab it a little further. Actually, add in another loop cut. Grab both of them. And X and right there. Hmm. Again, we're gonna make that curvy look there. So, um, grab, I think. Yep, grab that there. Add in loop cut. Grab that right there. Actually, don't do that now, but I'll make a bigger curve. I mean, really is. It makes it look much more curvy. You know what I mean, right? Anyways, okay. <coughs> so, here we are. Oh, that doesn't look so good. Anyways, going to side view, we see that this thing's completely messed up. So, press L to select this piece. Scale it along Y axis. Grab Y a bit like that and scale Y once more and we have it. There we go. Just select both of these, both of these and then scale it along Y. Right there. Select both of them and these two along Y right there. Along Y and about here. Going to the object mode, smooth again, and there we are. Everything smooth, perfectly smooth. Okay, what's wrong with that? Ooh, okay, this thing is a little problem. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Well, not really big deal. We can easily fix that. Okay. Yeah, actually, and like that. Since it's split, it should not be able to move anymore. I think. Yep, it can't move. Perfect. Everything's fine once again. And we're missing this face. Uh, that's annoying. Anyways, we can fill it in. There we go. Not a big problem, as you can see. Okay, next thing, uh, what should we do next? Should we make arms or should we make legs? I will do the legs for, oh no, I'll go with the arms. Okay, arms. Press anywhere on this side or that side, doesn't really matter, but anyways, and one side add in a cylinder. Okay, why are we adding slender? These things are probably slender, I think. As far as I know about the Lego characters, these things are usually slender. So I'm just gonna scale this down quite a bit and then grab it. The try to fit it somewhere on the arm. Somehow. Actually, scale it down a bit more. <laughs> yeah, this looks good. Now rotate it to the side. Uh, and no, 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 no. Oh, I cannot see. Oh, yeah. That's better. Zed. And right about there. Grab it, see. 
bring it down by that project. Hmm. Is it good? Yep, it's good. Okay. Scale tab. Either you can bring it down somewhere around here. Okay, this is the part you don't really have to be worried about because it will most likely it's going to take much 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 more effort to get this thing in the right position than we're going to actually do in this video so i'm just going to keep this thing simple and do it an easy way on this thing so select this Grab there and some there. Yep. Uh, what the heck? Come on. Yeah. Okay. Grab that. Uh, grab that and somewhere around here. Also, one more thing. This thing, well, or you, this side should be flat, I think. So I can always scale it down on well x axis. X. Grab it. And there, okay. Now, actually, it out. Mm, yep. Grab. There. Scale. X. Down. Yep. Grab. Just like that. Extrude it one more time. Bring it all the way up here. Now, rotate it along the. Uh, which actually should we rotate this one? Mm, y axis? No. X, uh, yes, actually, uh, bring it somewhere here. Now rotate it along Y like this, grab it along X, bring it all the way inside the body, grab it down by Z. Now it's all about the loop cuts. Once again, it's about the loop cuts. Yes, loop cuts. Oh, these things really come in handy when you're actually modeling something difficult. And they also come in handy when you're modeling something as simple as this one. I think this is as simple as I thought it would be before I started this video, but I think this is still simple compared to everything we've done so far. Yes, I think that should be good. Now, as you can see this is all matched up from this view so you'll be aligning that one by one again bring it where it needs to be or supposed to be right, so scale it along y while you can so come on right somewhere you should be here right also bring, I'll bring you down to this point. You look good here. What about you, Miss Mr. Girl? Or oh, what is that actually? That's a ring. Right? It is a ring. Okay, why? And like that, you'll just you only need to make this thing so that it matches your reference that's all it needs hmm. actually it's not really looking that good so I'm gonna grab it out a bit on x-axis and come on okay uh, X -axis. Sorry about that. Actually, my mouse isn't really working all these days. Uh, yep. A little better, right? Okay. Actually, go back to and now you can see that it looks fine. There's this depression that I cannot really tell why is it there. I think now it's gone. Yep, it's now gone. So now, 
Okay, perfect. Oh, we got muscles. That's nice. <laughs> That's very cool. Okay. Next thing next, we need the wrist. So, once again, a cylinder side, scale it down, grab it, move it to place, rotate, just like that. Something like this, I think. Yep. Now I'm going to grab it and like that. Also, we rotate it Z so it's in the right shape or position. And also grab it a little. No, actually, it's fine there. It's, it's perfect. Okay, another cylinder for the hand. Rotate it, X, and something like this. Scale it down. Come on, buddy. And about here. This time we're gonna rotate it uh, on the other side, something like this. Scale it down a bit more. Grab it up, something like this. Rotate it, X. And a little backwards to go. Yep. Going back to front view, and that's where it is. Uh, okay, we're gonna rotate this thing along the y axis. Also, scale it up, lock the corner. Simply just scale it up. Select the other. Powered by box select X and right back there. Select this one and then rotate it. So that. Perfect. Now we need to make this little cavity there for the hand. So what we're going to do is just simply grab some of these vertices like this one, this one, this one. I think this one too. Yep. And the respective vertices on the other side. X and delete. And it looks strange, but we're gonna leave it right there for now. Next thing we're gonna make is the hip area of this crop. Okay, for that we need a cube. We scale it Z right there. This is large enough. Z around here. Grab it. X and bring it close. Well, one thing to know that these vertices will merge and now you cannot get them to separate. It's because we turn on clipping here. If I just turn this off and now grab this, see, there are two different things, but. If we turn it on and now this seems to that's what happened with the head before uh well I'm gonna fix that. Okay. So we're just gonna grab this half and move it a little bit higher. One thing it is good to well keep the things a little bit bigger because when you're going to animate this thing's gonna move and motion sometimes there are cavities or holes so it's better to just prevent them by modeling and then uh, scale it down along y and there we are <coughs> done only thing left now is actually the way around move okay right there or just control z once again and add in four loop cuts right there now one thing you need to be careful is you have to select both the back side one and or actually you can also add in a loop cut right here so we can get this portion here, this smooth portion. Now, 
you just select this one and this one going to do grab it a bit like here I think I actually leave it there and then side view and here and don't don't worry about how it looks for it at the moment it's not complete so don't worry and just like right there and well leave it there add in another loop cut just to smooth things out we're gonna grab the ones on the top grab it C and bring them a little bit actually leave them there it's not a problem out bring all three of these and move it Y uh, around here okay. Yeah, cool. Okay, so what we have now is this strange curve. Actually, I need another loop cut right there. Yep, wireframe. Select that one, that one, so, and drop Z. Let's curve things out. Makes it look more, much better. Yep. We can add another here. Just for the sake of fun, we'll do. But trust me, this thing, when you're actually doing it, it's much more fun. Okay, so we're almost done with this thing, and now we have just the legs. Once again, adding a cylinder. Because this thing is a cylinder, believe it or not. And this time, we're just gonna rotate it. Y and type in 90. Done. Grab it Z, bring it here. Wireframe, scale down, grab the bring it there, scale down, and fit in between the gaps right there. Next thing, you grab these vertices right here, or actually, you use to select all of them at once which is much easier and quicker delete select both sides uh, come on okay right there extrude them uh, along Z leave there grab Y along Y axis Grab Y along Y axis and right there. Grab sorry Z, Z axis and right there. Now you grab this. This time go to the top view or maybe not. Let's just leave the top view. Because we're not we didn't use it for anything, we're not gonna use it now. So just the extrude it way right there. Also grab both of them, extrude C right there. Extrude it towards Y a little bit and then select one by one like this one, this one, Alt M. I think the first one, yeah. Grab this one, this one, Alt M, and this M is the last. Okay. Great. Fill F. Fill F. Can go enough. Okay. Grab uh, X. Yeah, this should be fine. If you want this piece or 
if you want to make this piece all of these you can add in other loop cut but I'm not going to do that because I think it looks fine for me it's great going to object mode and there we have it oh and smooth that now there is only one thing or actually two things that are remaining one is this hand we gotta make this thing look better and two as you can see this these edges here are not very prominent so we need to fix that as well so let's do this first of all what we're going to do is going to the edit mode again and then go to face select or select all of these and then once again there are two ways to do that you can either put loop cuts in this place like this bring them out along here on this side and then on this side or you can just while selecting all of these you can just press I again and it will add in a face now you need to make sure it's pretty close to the previous uh, vertices and just right there now if you go into object mode it already looks much better like it's a lego character it needs to be blocky now last thing hands we're just gonna add in a modifier called solidify and then mm, just increase this value now this is going to take a little while so I'm just going to type in some random values and see if they work 2 not good let's go with 5 not good so how about 0 0.2 pretty good as you can see it looks good yep looks good yeah it looks good okay so what we're going to do well actually we're not going to do anything from this point one thing if you feel like there's something that needs to be blocky you can use the same technique now we're just going to apply these modifiers just like that and it's a object object of its own okay so the video has gone on too long so i'm just going to stop right here and in next part we will be rigging this character so we can add in some simple animations and also we'll color this so see you guys next time